in this video we will reset the index of the pandas data frame using the reset index function we will be importing pandas as well as numpy so import pandas as pd and then import numpy as np okay so we have imported these two libraries so we will be using student underscore dictionary okay so let's create it i'm going to put a name okay so name column will contain some names so let's say rushali supriya okay and let's add a na value np dot na n okay and then we'll add another name let's say urubi okay so this is our values for name so let's add age okay so age will contain 20 21 np dot nn for na value and then 22 okay now let's put some marks so marks will contain 85.10 okay let's say 89.99 and np dot nn for na value and then 90 for the last one okay so let's create a data frame student underscore df equals pd dot data frame and then we'll put the student underscore dictionary okay and let's make an index equals s1 s2 and s3 s4 okay so this is our index so let's print the original data frame print original data frame okay slash n student underscore df okay so this is our original data frame and you can see here in the index s3 we have na value so let's remove that by using drop na function okay so for that student underscore df equals student underscore df dot drop na function drop na so this will drop it so let's print it no? data frame after dropping na okay so let's put slash n for next line and then our data frame student underscore df okay so you can see here the s3 has been removed because it contained the na value so now let's reset the index student underscore df equals student underscore df dot research index okay so this will reset the index so let's print the output data frame after resetting index okay slash n for the next line and our student underscore df okay so you can see here the index has been reset it from 0 1 and 2 okay so now we'll reset the index without new column so this column index which contain s1 s2 and s4 will be removed by using the drop okay so we'll use the above data because it is same otherwise we have to type it once again okay so we are just copying it till the drop na function okay let's paste it so you can see here we have the data now let's reset the index and drop the column student underscore df equals student underscore df dot reset index 
index and then we'll drop equals true okay let's print the final output data frame after reset index slash n and then let's put the student data frame let's wait for some time so you can see here the index has been resetted and the column of index is being removed so now we will reset the index and start from 1 so reset index starts from 1 ok so we will be using the same data as above and then we will just increment the index so student underscore df equals student underscore df dot reset index ok so this is our reset index function now just increment it by 1 student underscore df equals sorry index equals student underscore df and then index and then we will increment it by 1 ok now let's print the after print after reset index slash n ok and we will put our data frame student underscore df so you can see here the index is starting from 1 2 and 3 so similarly we will reset the index to the range of numbers ok so let me put a comment reset index to the range of numbers so we are pasting the above data and we will be using the range index here so student underscore df dot index equals pd dot range index ok and then we will start it from let's say 101 ok it will start from 101 and it will stop at 101 plus the length of the data frame so student underscore df ok and then let's put a step equals 1 step ok everything is alright yes and then we will just print the after reset after reset index and our data frame student underscore df let's see so you can see here the index is starting from 101 and then it ends at 103 so now we will reset the index and change the column name reset index and change column name ok we are pasting the above data and we will just use the reset index function and rename function so student underscore df equals student underscore df dot reset index ok and then we will put the rename and we will change the column name ok columns equals so let's say we will change the index column index to let's say id so this index will be changed to id so let's print it print after reset index slash n and then our student underscore df okay. so you can see here the index is being changed to id 